What is going on guys, I'm Escape and welcome to Mutt Reviews where we analyze the latest and greatest items in Madden NFL 17. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the latest breakdowns each and every week in your YouTube inbox. Here we're going to talk about Mr. Jarrell, KC93 overall right end, 41 cap value, finished out the season very well for the Titans as a defensive hero here. 128k is his price uh, currently now on Xbox One, PS4 a little higher. Uh, you know what you're going to get with a KC, a big strong body. Uh, that's able to kind of do both in terms of stop the run uh, and rush the passer. One thing he won't be able to do is to drop into coverage, so keep that in mind. 92 strength, check, but we're getting to the part of the season where that check is like, rather than like an emphatic like, and then just like bang that thing out. It, I mean, this is a check that's like kind of like fading. It's like on the upswing, it's kind of fading. So 92 strength, just keep that in mind. A little low at this point of the year, especially for a guy that can't drop into coverage. 95 power move, love it. That's an emphatic check. That thing just bang, keeps going. Uh, very nice power move uh, with this Casey. Hit power, 89. Okay, his block shed, 93. Really like that. Again, he has no value in terms of dropping the coverage. That's where, you know, if you get a guy, Bruce Irvin, we say it all done. Bruce Irvin, he's a very good pull-up player. Kind of does everything really well. Those are the type of guys that I personally like to, to play because I like to do, drop my guys into coverage, do a lot of different things. Uh, with this Casey, I think he's actually a better uh, defensive tackle style player. Even though he's a right end, uh, he, his skill set, his ratings uh, are a little more advantageous for playing in the interior of the defensive line uh, where he's going to be a bull to stop uh, the run at the middle of the field where you want guys with more speed, more athleticism on the outside at end so you can drop them into coverage, zone coverage, man coverage, do different things with them. If you're playing like a nickel 245, this Jarrell Casey is actually awful uh, in terms of the flexibility for your scheme. He's a very good ball player. He's going to stop the run. He's going to rush the passer. But in terms of uh, the flexibility of, of playing coverage, he does not give that to you. So that's where I always kind of shy away. I think this is a great defensive tackle. If you look at him in, in only the scope of, okay, I'm going to play him as an interior defensive lineman, then this is a big time yes. Uh, if you play defense like 245, 236, uh, just be careful the way you play him because if you do have plays where you drop him to coverage, he's not going to excel there. So keep that in mind when you're picking up this Casey. Other than that, though, he doesn't really have too many flaws uh, in his game. Solid player, especially for 41 cap. Very nice uh, value you get for him, especially if you move him to defensive tackle. Uh, thank you guys for watching the latest Mutt Reviews. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next review. Review? Show?